Talo for lover, everyone. I hope you have already heard and seen the news. It is party time because we are celebrating 19 years this month. 19 years. And we're celebrating by sharing 19 stories. And I thought, what best way to share this story than to take you back to when I was 19. Um, and we'll call this story the 36-hour bus ride. Let me set the scene for you. We have five South Africans, one of them being a legendary three-year-old. Shout out to baby Christian, who was the best of all of us. Four Americans, uh, one Brazilian leader, and one me. And we've already spent four months together in this discipleship program. You know, we've eaten breakfast, lunch, and dinner together all day, every day. We, we've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. And we're, we've traveled from our three months here on the base 10,000 homes, South Africa. Then we moved to Eswatini, where we spent a month with this beautiful couple, Petrus and Elizabeth, who had 13 children at the time, um, some of their own, and the others that were, their parents had passed away. So they were bringing them into just a beautiful, beautiful family. And they didn't have running water or electricity at that time, but they had a safe and loving home. And we learned so much. We were learning how to harvest maize meal. How do they work together to get everyone out the door for school and everything on time? Um, washing my hands, getting the logs from the top of the mountain to the bottom. Like it was an immersive, beautiful experience that I would cherish. But we were tired at this point. And so that's us. Tired, mixed group of people traveling from Eswatini we hit Johannesburg we're at the bus station now guys it's already bustling there's people there's babies there's things we're in the bus and I'm looking out the window and I'm like how is that gonna fit in the and I was 19 guys I didn't know but if you know you know these people know how to play Tetris on a whole nother level so the babies the people the people and their things we're all aboard this bus and in this bus I'm like oh Hello, aircon. Hello, TVs. Hello, loud sound pumping out of the speakers. You have the sound, you have the visuals that's not met, not, not matching with the sounds that are coming out of the speakers. We know four things before we jump on this bus. One, that it's going to be long. Two, that it's with a trusted company. We know we're going to get there and we're going to get back. Three, we're going to have dinner provided sometime on the bus. Four, we're also going to have at least three to four breaks to use the bathroom well we have two breaks and the ladies unite together in the middle of the night because we can no longer hold it anymore because we want our third break like we need we need to go and when the side of the road it's dark guys there's no one else on the road it's probably not the safest thing to do but we need to go anyone who knows me it's hard it's hard for me <laughs> i know it's normal for people who grew up camping and all of that stuff i didn't grow up camping guys i'm so thankful for the team because one of the mamas who were on the team i was like ma can you please sing for me and sang she did sang she did while i went to the bathroom so that was happening we did eventually get to the Malawi border so that was tick um, it was long, tick, and then, okay, what unites us in this story is, yes, we're united by our faith, guys, that's no question, but we're also united in food, okay, we may have different tastes in all different things, but food unites us, all right, <laughs> and dinner was not provided on the bus, and let's just say, of all our experiences, some had it easier than others. And the three-year-old was just living his best life. I mean, his mom and dad packed him snacks, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> and no one's going to steal from the three-year-old. Um, so we get to the border of Malawi after 35 hours going into 36. Our South African brother gets out. He goes to this like street food slash cafe thing. I'm not talking about Starbucks. I'm talking about a place that cooks real good food. He comes out with these two styrofoam takeaway plate thingies and it has the best pop, the best chicken, the best salad you've ever tasted. Dancing of joy, like there was laughter, there was tears, there was emotions going all around and there were hugs happening guys. Like it was a victory at the end of the line all i could remember was the joy on their faces and that i knew in that moment this was going to be a story to tell <laughs> if you haven't checked out the other stories go and check them out because they are stories to tell as well and my last thing i'll share is that if you want to experience things like that join us for the next 19 years holla